Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. And today, guys, we're going over the wonderful Raven X's deck profile. It is personally probably one of my favorite deck profiles we have on the server and for this build. But um, I've pumped my system with enough drugs to hopefully keep the coughing away. Never know these days. So I'm going to try to make it through this without dying. <coughs> but, yeah, alright. So this deck is centered around your boy, the Great Silver Wolf Garmore. Um, also, I'm the Great Silver Wolf, so remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you're new, because the channel can only get cringier from here. Alright, so Garmore. Why are we running him? Well, because he's the best unit in the game. I don't care what anyone says. Uh... If you have one or less cards in hand, call all regard. All your regards cannot be attacked or retired by your opponent's effect. By your opponent. When plays cost counter blast one, look at the top three cards of your deck. Call one card from among them to the rear guard. Put the rest at the bottom of your deck in any order, and six of your units get three K power. So this is by far not the best card in the entire game. I do really love Garmore, and I really hope that. Um, some people have some really great premium deck profiles because I'd really love to run it. <coughs> nope, I'm already coughing. But Garmore is supported by our multi boys here. So Battle for Battle Storm Gar. Uh, wow, Battlefield Storm Sagamore. Probably your boy Garmore's friend. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm sick. Vanguard rearguard when placed from hand costs counter blast one draw a card and call a card from hand to rear. So, just an overall good card. It's a good filling up your rearguard circles style. You call this twin itself spot, and yeah, and all the great threes we run. So we're running four Garmors, three Sagamores, and three Pelamores because I like running this at three. Uh, hand at the end of battle, your rear guard attack hits a grade three or greater. Costs counter blast one, soul blast three. Ride this card. Stand, and this unit gets minus one drive until end of turn. At the end of battle, that the at the end of battle that your rear guard attack, the vanguard costs counter blast for one and return that card to hand. <coughs> so what'd be really cool is if you already have one of these on field, have one in hand, and this one on rear, you attack with this as you attack with your vanguard. Attack with your rear guard. If the rear guard hits, then you're going to be able to ride the one from a hand down and be able to um, bounce this one back, and that's sort of the whole loop. So, from what I understand, this deck is pretty much just replenishing hand. Um, we also run three copies of Sacred Beast. When placed from hand, this unit gets 3k and 5k shield until end of turn. Um, it's a good Vanguard, Rearguard, and G-Guard, or not G-Guard, uh, Guard skill. It's basically a 10k shield, and that's why I chose to run it. I did say that this was um, X-Raving's deck profile, but this is what I will be building once all the cards are out. Next, we're running two Lopier Shooters. I could probably replace something for this, but... That would require a bit more playtesting when I'm feeling a bit better. If I could really stop hiccuping, that'd be nice. Okay, hand. At the end of battle that your grade 2 or greater vanguard attack costs counterblast 1, call this card to rear, and gets 5k power. So, it's phenomenal. You have you have Pelamore. You attack with Pelamore. You attack with your Pelamore rearguard. It hits. You bounce to hand. You write the new Pelamore. And you attack with the vanguard once more. And you're just getting consistent attacks. There's a lot of combos in this deck that require certain things, but it could be fun and friggin' hiccuping. And I hope I hit record. I did. Okay. We're gonna try to finish this because I don't have time to do a second take. Next, we're running Night, Night of Devotion. It was probably called something else. <coughs> In English, when placed from hand, cost discard a card from hand. Look at the top three cards of your deck. Call one gr grade. Call call up to one card from among them whose grade is equal to or less than the grade of your vanguard. When 
Then place the remaining cards to the bottom of your deck in any order. We're running three of this guy. Again, this deck's shtick is keeping cards in your hand or replacing cards you ca call from hand to the field. <coughs> wow, I'm really sorry, guys. All right, next we are running Golden Beast Rampage Turtle. Another great card. I love it. During the battle that it attacked... Wow, okay, I'm sorry. Let's try this again. During the battle that it attacked, if you have more rear guards than your opponent while your opponent calls while your opponent calls guards from his or her hand he or she must call two cards at the same time pretty good card it's gonna make your opponent waste resources if they want to guard guard this and with the excel circle combos it's pretty nice nope oh, not what i wanted we are running four copies of lis listener trump listener of truth please Please stop hiccuping while I'm trying to record. When placed due to your card's ability cost, Soul Blast 1, you play... When placed due to a car card's... A when placed due to a card's ability cost, Soul Blast 1, you play... You draw a card or counter charge 1 and this unit gets 3k until end of turn. No. I'm about to give up here. So, pretty good card. Again, it's your resource replenisher for hand. And okay. I get it hiccuping. All right. We have Bold Spiro. We have Bold Spiro. When your other rear guard is placed in the same column as this unit due to a card's ability, this unit gets 5k. It's not phenomenal, but it is power. And I am going to friggin' destroy my hiccups. We are also running Evil Slaying Swordsman. Your vanguard attack hits. Look at the top card of your deck. You may call a card with the grade less than or equal to of your vanguards. From among them, if, if you call, retire Evil Swordsman. <clears throat> we only have one more card to get through and a, some basic info. All right, Gal Galliant Knight. When your grade three or higher vanguard is placed, cost place this unit into soul draw card. Call one card from your hand to rear guard. It's a good card. It's amazing, and I can't say how good Raven's deck is. This is where I veer off her path. So we're running three crits. We're gonna run a total of five draws, including the four PGs. Four heals and four front triggers, and these front triggers are just the better art. Sorry, Raven, get wrecked. But um, yeah, these this is the deck profile, and obviously we're running the only starter there is. Trash starter, get out of here. So yeah, this is my Garmore deck profile. Um, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. And until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. And Hopefully not hiccupy next time.